My name is Mercedes Rose, and I'm an optimist. It's been 26 days since my last frown. I came out of the womb and said, that's not so bad. Not that I'd want to do it again or anything. I believe in unicorns and leprechauns and miracles. My glass is not half empty or half full. My glass overflowing with free refills of Diet Coke. Optimism, like saying you're Mormon. I love seeing the silver lining. In my case, the lining is actually gold because it's prettier with my coloring. So I am here in beautiful Portland, Oregon with our liquid sunshine. I am here with Chris Weilert, who is actually a Portland transplant. And you came here from? Southern California. Southern California. And did you believe the rain stories? Yes. <laughs> now I do. I'm a big believer that it is always gray and yeah, raining. Definitely not LA, is it? No. What brought you to Portland? You know, um, my wife and I's business called Arbon. We decided. Gesundheit. We did. Gesundheit. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. What's Arbon? <laughs> Arbon is a Swiss skincare health and wellness company, and we specialize in anti aging, cosmetics, and nutrition products. So you're actually 80, is what you're telling me. I'm 83. Oh, 83. It's working very well. He doesn't well. look a day over 80. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Chris is just an incredible positive happy energy that radiates from him. And there's a reason for that. He actually has quite the story. I am alive. I was actually- You're alive. That's I, your story. That's, I'm alive. And we're done. We're done. Thank See. you. Uh, I have an interesting story. I was a kidnapping victim uh, a few years ago. And uh, I- Like for real. For real. I was held for 18 hours. I was lucky I got away. The person that had me- The kidnapper. The kidnapper. Yes, the kidnapper was not so lucky two days later. he actually kidnapped someone else, and things didn't turn out so well, he actually got shot and killed by SWAT. You just told the end of your movie. I did. So today, I am here with, I don't even know what words to call Casey Webb. I'm gonna go with Renaissance Woman, because it kind of covers everything. This lady does it all. If you don't believe me, wait till you hear. Hi, Casey. Hi. <laughs> I want to meet this amazing woman. You will, you will. I'm gonna put a mirror up. And there, and there you're gonna be, right there. <laughs> I guess, really, your main focus is fashion. Would that be accurate? Yes, I, I've always, um, I've, I've started out building retail stores for other people, and then I um, also own my own retail. Which was the first one? Um, the first one was called The New Store, and that was in Seattle, uh, back in French era Seattle in the early 90s. So sold to uh, Kurt Cobain. I was gonna say, we've got a Courtney Love story going. Yeah, yeah, and you know what's so funny is I've always been a workaholic, so I had absolutely no clue that all these people around me were famous. I had no clue. So there's like, you know, these cute little boys would ask me, like Modest Mouse would ask me, like, oh, can we be your store band? Or, you know, and the presidents of the United States of America. And I was just clueless. I just knew that somehow, when this kind of loser looking scruffy guy would start spending like seven or eight hundred dollars at a time, like maybe we should save his visa slips. Right. Because those might be like valuable autographs. Yep. Maybe this isn't a boy that just rides a skateboard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this might be somebody. Every single time. Like straight at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave. Where's my accessory? It's what I do. It's who I am. I'm Mercedes Rose, and I'm an optimist.